Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Stationers Europa Episode 2, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Alright, so there's more ores basically straight down, but then this will have been exhausted. This might not even be iron down here. It seems separate. Nope, it is not iron. It is oxide. Alright, let me get out of here. I don't want to venture too far from the base so I, I won't get lost. Yeah, the batteries just drain fast because of cold. Exactly. Well, there's nothing around here. So that's like an ongoing challenge is uh, dealing with the frigid temperatures when you're out here. God, this scanner is not picking anything up. This is the most barren planet ever. Resource wise. Come on, scanner. What the hell? I'm literally... Oh, I need to hit the scan button. Um... There it goes. I was like, I know there's stuff here. I think, was this where I got my coal? Without higher tech glasses to be able to x-ray, which you can, well, I don't know if, I'm not gonna be able to make them, but maybe I'll be able to buy them. It allows you to, to see resources a little bit easier. So what I need to do right now is focus on coal just because uh, my suit's going to run out of power and I'm going to die if I don't get some coal. The reason why I haven't touched that solar panel is the solar panel that you start with is a flat panel, which can't be angled. And um, and the solar the, the, the solar strength of Europa is very, very low. So there's not a... T it, it, it will produce like, like 50 watts or something. It's pretty bad. All right, this terrain isn't rendering anymore, but it also doesn't have uh, coal, so I'm going to bounce on out of here. And now that the sun is setting, base is about 170 degrees. Base is 160, dropping to 150. Let's try here. Not a lot of resource rich. Let's keep moving. Curious if this cobalt vein goes anywhere. Uh, no, but there's something else down here. Please be coal. Oh, it's oxide. Okay, there's nothing at all around here. It's gross. Resource scarcity is real. Now, when you're playing for yourself, you can adjust the spawn rates and make it so that um, ores are mined up in higher amounts if you want to do more building and less mining. I try to play as vanilla as I can on the most default settings as I can. So that uh, my experience is uh, you know, easily replicated. 
for you. Alright, what's down here? No, oh, I think it's gold. So I can see the gold. So that's the giant mountain that I live next to. I'm kind of turned around a little bit. I know I live around here, so I don't want to venture too far from this location. But also, my suit is getting low on power, so I'm going to need to uh, find some coal soon or I'm dead. What I can do is I can stick the other batteries that I have on me in my the small batteries, like from the um, my tools and whatnot, into my suit to keep me alive a little bit longer. Oh, my lord. But um, that's that's a that's a very temporary solution that won't last very long. So silicon, yeah, I guess I could have seen that. That wasn't there a second ago. It's not fair. More gold. Oh, I see the base up ahead now. At least I know I'm heading in the right direction. Come on. I need pay dirt. Stupid biome is trying to kill me. Alright, I'm sitting on top of the node now. It's gonna be like oxide, isn't it? Oh, it's iron. I do need a little bit of iron, but that's not gonna save me. So you heard the game got an update. What is new? I'm not playing the experimental mental branch, so I have no idea. You'll have to look that up yourself. I've learned from many years of playing Station Years not to touch experiment. Because it breaks. I ain't got time for that. Alright, there's really no resources around the base. I wonder what the temperature is in there now. So the battery in this thing is basically dead. I'm just going to bring this inside. Oh, 44C. Well, if that's the case, open the helmet, turn off my suit. Of course, I didn't bring food in with me, or water rather, so I'd need to go out back outside for water. Problem is, the, um, the airlock is about to lose power, so I'm not going to be able to come and go when that runs out of power, so I'm going to need to swap like another battery in for the airlock or I'm going to get stuck. So I'll do that. Yep, if I don't find coal soon, bad news bears for me. I'm having really bad RNG. Solar won't matter. Uh, please read the tags, by the way. No backseating. Solar won't matter because the sun's not up, and one solar panel isn't even enough to, to keep anything on, and I don't have the materials to print up others, so that's a non-solution, but I'm not looking for your solutions. Please, please stop.
All the iron in the world, and all I want is coal. Oh, hi, gold. It's funny, I've played Europa a bunch already, and, um... Never have I found such a lack of, um... Of just basic resources. Like, normally it's not that hard to find copper. But nope, not this time. One thing I could have done is used flags. So when I found the initial coal, stuck a flag in there for, for later... Oh, volatiles. Okay. Let's get out of this hole. moving and switching my batteries around. Yeah, this is a real bad start. It's about as rough as it gets. Not even a single resource in that scan, except for like one little dot somewhere all the way down. I may want to pull Ripcord and just start over again, only because this might not be sustainable. I mean, I'm not going to rely on coal very long, but the it's like the terrain. If, if you don't know what it normally looks like, this is um, ridiculously scarce on the surface. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just enough to resolve my power warnings. Let's get just enough coal to keep the power on. And... We are about zero degrees from base, so I can return back that, I would say, 200 meters, zero degrees. Pet Yoda for luck? Hey, buddy. Hydration critical. You like that. All right, before I go back into the base, so the base is breathable, which is good. Uh, let me swap my water around. There we go. And then I'll go back to... Um, I'll go back to that coal node and get the coal. Oh, power's off. Power critical. I know the power's critical. Thanks, lady. Um, hmm. Best way to do this is probably... An to bust a window and then replace it. If it would let me in, which it is not, because of pressure. Ruining my heat that I had. Where'd the other, um, heavy battery end up? I forget where I ended up putting that. With all the battery swapping. I think that's in my angle grinder? Yeah. Well, my lungs are... Not in good shape. The base is rough but breathable. The worry that I have is that the damage to my lungs is bad enough that um, trying to take a sip of water will be fatal. But not drinking will be fatal. So let's just go for it. I can always take the medicine pill in order to keep myself alive, but... Alright, flushing the helmets. Wow. 
Wow, that did not produce a lot of power, did it? All right, so how much iron do I have? Do I somehow use up all my iron? Here's gold. I don't really see iron anywhere, so I'm assuming that it got consumed. All right, let me cycle these back and take that pill fixing the lungs. So it's a one-time thing where you can just fix your organs that way. But it's not a long-term solution. Oh, and while it was cycling, it died. So the issue I'm going to have is I'm not going to easily be able to get back inside. So I'm going to um, set it up so that I can uh, get in manually. I'm going to purposely trim this cable to kill my airlock. Oh, the bolts are still forced open. Um, there is a manual airlock that I could print, but I'm not working on that right now. What I'm trying to do is just get the power on. Be done with this nonsense. There we go. I don't even need the grand pen scanner for where I'm headed. So the idea is to... I th think I have enough copper and I definitely have enough iron for the furnace. Uh, but just to get enough coal to stay alive for now. And then, then to push for um, renewable energy sources. Probably wind at first. Maybe only wind. Get a little bit more copper, though. Yep. Alright, 20 will do. The, yeah, the little dots flying around is just the presence of, like, atmosphere and wind. You don't get it in vacuum, and it just shows you the flow, airflow. It's a, it's a, I know it's a little odd to visualize airflow that way, but that's basically what it is, is uh, airflow visualization. So ideally I want maybe like 70 coal, but I don't know if this vein's gonna have 70. And I'm just gonna go old fashioned searching for it because I didn't bring the ground pen scan because the ground pen scan was basically bingo battery. Not gonna keep the lights on. I'm quickly running out of room, so I'm gonna move some of the iron into the uh, into my backpack. On other planets where it's warm, you shouldn't move ices into your backpack, like oxite and water and volatiles, because it will melt. But here, I could even move ices as long as I'm not in my base. I would like to burn enough coal to like fill up the two large batteries to give me a little bit more time in order to get the furnace going. Thirteen. Here's a little more. There we go. Seventy. Seventy-eight, and it just turned into iron again. All right, this will have to be enough. Yeah, uh, questions are fine. 
the you should do X, Y, Z would be backseating, but like asking me questions is no problem. But the, hey, you should build solar panels that I've already answered that question like three times, like that's the backseating that I'm trying to avoid because I don't want it. And it certainly doesn't help me at all. Um, that and, you know, you have to be intimately familiar with them. Um, Europa to even know the needs of Europa. All right, so this manual airlock is obviously very imperfect, but it'll do in a pinch. Oh, there's my iron. I only had three grams left. Which means I'm going to need to smelt some of the iron. So let's get this big battery in there charging up. And then I need to get iron smelted in the arc furnace. So what I'm trying to print now is a furnace. A furnace is going to allow me to... Um, where's my copper? A furnace is going to allow me to smelt iron and coal into steel, which allows me to build a big battery, which then allows me to generate a lot more power from, um, from burning coal. Have I ever played Osiris New Dawn? I have. Didn't like it, but I've played it. Osiris New Dawn is like, uh... Felt like it had potential, and it was very shiny, but it didn't play very well. But at this point, it might be okay, because I'm generating power to wire, um... the airlocks back up. But I'm gonna have to re data disk them, I think. Because I, uh, I nuked it. It's not saying it needs a new data disk, so let's hope it saved the settings. Iron smelts real fast, so this will be done in just a second. And then I'll stick copper in there, which takes a little bit longer. Not as long as gold, though. So it's warmer, negative 50 C. It's not terrible. There's definitely a lot of weird gases in the room, which we could start to scrub out. And this battery is almost full, so let's switch. And we're printing a furnace now. Oh, just burned through all my coal. Hmm. I'm probably going to split my stack and burn half this coal, knowing that I have to either make half as much steel or, um, or find 25 more coal. Either is fine. Just so that I can top up the, um, the little batteries here. that I can keep the base running. Because I have, a lot of my tools don't have power, which is not good. What happens if it gets too full? Uh, you have to go outside to empty it or disassemble it. So I've already disassembled it once because I accidentally turned it on with no filters, so it was just pulling everything out, which is uh, not useful. So then this battery here, I think, is for the ground scan. Which I can, uh, I can use to try to get the remainder of the coal or find a new node of coal. And then this battery has just about topped up. So I'm going to turn this off and I have six coal left.
So now that I have the furnace, I don't want just a basic furnace. I want a furnace with some advanced features. So... Oops, didn't mean to stick a battery in there. Uh, so... What that means is I need to print up some additional stuff, which I'm not really sure I have the material for, but we'll see. How many active events could I get? One. Okay. That's acceptable. Uh, this room is breathable. Cold, but breathable, so I might as well open up the helmet. Grab a drink of water. Close the helmet. No. Alright, let's go get the, uh, the copper that I was smelting out here. And that will allow me to get the other active vent I want. And then I want some pipes as well. Uh, so that I can control the pressure of the furnace. There is a better scanner that you can unlock later on, yeah. I don't currently have access to it, but I will at some point. So some of the iron that I set aside for the steel, I am uh, actually melting anyway. So I might make a smaller batch of steel, just so I don't have to go searching for stuff. So 75 iron and 25 coal will make steel. So that's what I'll do instead. 100 steel instead of 200. You can always make another batch later. Destroy with Roy, thanks for the resub. Or thanks for the gifted sub, rather. Alright. A few more building materials. My suit's battery is at 73%, which is pretty good. My lungs are not on fire. My hydration is almost full. It was pretty rough there for a minute, but we're doing okay-ish now. Mad attacks, thanks for the resub as well. I should not have left that on the whole time. I'm trying to conserve power, not burn through it. I might actually live, I know. So, two active events. This is just how I build furnaces. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. This is not the end all be all or even a tutorial. Just the way I do it, my own personal preference. So I'll show you that. Let's swap these batteries out. Probably enough pipes. Uh, the station... Let's turn these off. The station battery's getting low. Or the APC battery. But I should be able to get steel before I need to... Oh, I hope the batteries don't die yet. Oh, I don't have any iron sheets. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was a mistake. Because I need iron sheets to build this thing. I need four of them, in fact. So here's the other pipes I wanted. And then... Um... The labeler would have battery in it too, I think. Yep. The other thing I'm going to need is to find oxide and volatiles uh, to be able to stoke the fire. I do have a little bit of oxide, but I don't have the volatiles yet. Now let's cancel the pressurization. Get in here quicker. Uh, it's red. All right, let's burn the remaining coal, topping that up. Where do 
I put my iron? Over here? Just printing some extras so I don't run into this issue again. It's getting warmer in there. All right, here we go. What day is it? I have no idea. Oh, I need a wrench first. So there's the furnace, and there is a input and output. So output is like waste gas. I'm also not planning on putting any ices in here because there's a water output. And then input can help to pressurize it. There we go. And the next part of this is to stick... I'm going to stick the vents here so I can easily reach. So I have one extra pipe. And then I need to plug those in. Rickbra and Big C Panda, thanks for the resubs. Welcome to me trying not to die a frozen death. <laughs> I also might want to label these input-output, so I know which one it is at a glance. I can also adjust the, um, adjust them so that they, uh, the vents are pointing in the right direction. And I'm not going to have enough cables for this. Now, the initial cook here, I'm actually not going to need the vents, so it doesn't really matter. So what I need to do now is to find, uh, volatiles. Pink ice. I kind of wish I had daylight. No, I... I sh when I was mining before and found bottles, I should have got a little bit of it. But I was in such a rush to try to get coal. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back to where the coal was. And I have to keep a close eye on that battery there. Because if that battery dies, I can't get back in. Oh, good daylight. Thank goodness. I should be able to find uh, volatiles this way. Seat battery is at 51%. So here's the coal dig, I think. There's lots of stuff left in this uh, vein. I don't know if it's coal, but I know it's something. All right. Hopper there. An iron. Okay. I don't think that this is uh, the place to be. I think it should be pretty easy for me to find Valdal's on the surface, now that the sun's up. Just by spotting it. Oh, yep, I see some right there. And if possible, hit uh, additional coal if I see any on the surface. Because power's pretty low on the base. And I'm relying on burning coal for it. Now, that's a lot of bottles. There's already 44 of them. That's a lot of bang. I'm going to do some quick surface scanning. Seeing if I can spot coal. Before heading back. 
So, a little reminder. Uh, let me get the priority here. Make steel. The reason I'm really pushing for steel is it will unlock the ability for me to build what is called a kit battery. And a kit battery can store a lot of power. And it can be powered up from a solid generator very, very efficiently. So, that's going to keep the lights on and... It's not going to solve my long-term power needs, but it's definitely going to solve my short-term power needs. Because I'll be getting, like... I'm making this number up, but I'll be getting something like 10 times the amount of power per coal uh, than what I have been. I've been doing it the, uh, the brutal way, but that's just because you don't start with steel. Alright, so let's, uh... Let's get that first brew going, huh? So the way to do this is to grab, let's say, six. One, two, three, four, five, six volatiles. Stick them in the top. Melt them with the activate. And then it's a two to one ratio, so three oxides. You, whoa, there, I'm getting blown back. You can see that... Uh, the furnace is nice and warm. Come on, let me stick the... Fine, I'll use my jetpack. Now we're melting the coal and the iron in together. And it has to hit a specific temperature and pressure. It's a, it's a very generous range for temperature and pressure, but a, a specific temperature and pressure to make iron. Plus the 3 to 1 ratio. And there we are. We have an ingot of steel. Uh, so the next task is to build a kit battery. But I think before I go into the base, I want to grab um, new water for my my suit. So I can drink while I'm in there. We still have a little bit of power left. The battery is like low, but not empty. So, um... Let me see if I can't find some coal. Because building a kit battery is rather pointless unless I can actually power up the kit battery. And <clears throat> I'm also going to need gold and... <coughs> excuse me. I'm also going to need gold and copper uh, so I can make heavy heavy cables to be able to transfer the power efficiently without blowing anything out. So this looks like uh, it's all iron here. Let's see, what's here? Silicon. Nothing for miles. Come on, a hit scan. Oh, this somehow turned off. Hmm. So this is gold. I'm gonna need gold. So I'll grab a few nuggets of it. Gold's also going to be required when I want to make uh, wind farms. A lot of gold. But I can't... It's really, really difficult to jump straight to renewable energy. Because what will end up happening is you will die in the process. So you need to burn some coal in the 
at the start to be able to afford all the mining and all that jazz to be able to acquire the uh, the resources for renewables. There's something down there. I feel like my FOV just changed, yeah. Just changed not for the better. You can kind of see, like, into the terrain every now and then, as it's a voxel game. This way. Uranium. Okay. And oxide. I need a little bit more oxide. That's not terrible. Is there anything else down here? More oxide. The other thing I should be looking for uh, relatively soon is ice, like water ice. Because I'm going to need to melt water ice in order to hydrate. Oh, hey coal. Uh, this is going to be a single stupid note of coal, isn't it? No, no, it's, uh, it's a big one. Yes! So I can't spend a lot of time getting this coal because uh, I'm running low on power quickly. But just enough to top the batteries up until I get the kit battery. So, base is 160 from here. So this is almost... It's next to the, the nickel, and it's almost at zero. So I'll come back. Yeah, uranium isn't used yet, as far as I know. I don't need... Uh, part of me wonders why it's even in, rendered into the game, because it doesn't need to be, and it probably shouldn't be. All right, my base batteries are still powered up. Let's hope I get through <laughs> through the uh, the airlock cycle. All right, forget the pressurization. I don't care. Oh yeah, red, but still here. All right, so what I'm trying to print here is uh, a kit battery the this bad boy so 20 steel 20 copper 20 gold so here's the steel and i have 19 gold so that's troll ouch and i have 20 copper so i'm missing one gold for this but i i did mine some up so i should be all right i also don't have enough copper for the cables itself but i'm gonna i'm um, staying here to switch the batteries in a second Oh, I don't like toxins. Okay, I did that quick enough that uh, I'm alive. Toxins because um, the scrubber uh, ran out of power. And I've been burning a, uh, a salt generator in the base, but that's to produce heat. I'd rather have the heat and some toxins than the lack of heat. So I'm going to quickly switch batteries, and let's go smell some gold. Literally just one gold for the kit. I could sell uranium? Yeah, that's true. I guess that's kind of the only use for it. So 27, as soon as that reads 26, that's enough. Come on. Um, alright, there it goes. 
So that's all I need for the kit battery. Oh, it actually made two of them. And, um... And then I want to get some heavy watt wires so I can actually power up the APC with, uh... With all the power available to us, all Jenny. So let's turn you off. Get that kit battery out. And... Set it up there. Come on. So I need a few heavy cables to be able to um, power this monster up. So I need to feed... Wait, that's input? Oh, this is backwards. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to face the correct direction. Okay, fine. Uh, put it back here then. Where the beacon was. No, I want to pick this up. Can you stop being frustrating? Yeet! There we go. Any upcoming game releases I'm looking forward to? You know, uh, I don't know. I'd really have to think that one over. None that comes to the top of my mind at the moment. Oops. Maybe uh, Frostpunk 2? Right, there we go. So now it's a pretty short run for heavy watt to get to the station battery. Uh, oof. And then this is going to kill everything. Base will be off for a minute, but um, temporarily I am going to put the APC here so that I can power it up a little bit more easily. And then once I actually have power and uh, renewable power and that kind of stuff, I can lay everything out, you know, nicely again. But nice comes later. Nice does not come now. So the next thing I need is a few heavy watt cables, which is made of gold and steel. Hmm. Hope I'm able to get through here. Or gold and, uh, and copper, sorry. No, my power's low. You know, yeah. Come on. Let me out. Alright, so here's the gold I managed to get. All 26 of it. That's good. Let's get a little bit of copper, and that will be enough to make the heavy watt cables. And then I'll be cooking with gas. I'm stuck. That small battery didn't have enough juice. Luckily, I am Hacker Man and can break my way in.
Now, I thought I had leftover coal. Do I not have leftover coal? I was pretty sure there was more coal that I hadn't burned. That's all I need. But if I walk to 300, I should be able to get it. The problem is I won't be able to keep the base lights on until then, I don't think. Um, yeah, the problem is if I leave now... Yeah, I split my last deck. If I leave now, uh, getting back in might be difficult, but alright. That's fine. So now that I have the kit battery hooked up, I can generate loads of power. So I think the walk was to 300-ish out this way. To get the last of that coal because I definitely didn't tap that whole node. I was, uh, I was rushed. All right, so there's the copper, so the coal must be here. I'd say that's a pretty good sign. Oh my God, I'm gonna have power for once. Power overwhelming. All right, so the current priority, uh, power up the base. Thank you for tuning in to Stationers Europa, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 7th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that I played with the no backseating tag enabled, so I'm not really looking for gameplay mechanic suggestions. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as links to Discord and Twitch. If you'd like this series and want more of it, make sure to vote for it when it comes up in the polls. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.